MFA Updates. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to MFA Update with me, p a n i k n i c h a g r a i r e k This is a weekly program that focuses on Thailand's international affairs and activities. Today, I bring to you to His Excellency Mr. s o r a n d e r e n s u w a n Ambassador of Thailand to France, discussing on French management of COVID-19 lessons for Thailand. What is the current COVID-19 situation in France? What are the main sanitary measures to contain the pandemic? สวัสดีครับ Bonjour from Paris. Thank you, Kun p a n i t i c h a for your uh, important question mm-hmm. on this uh, topic. Uh, let me begin by giving you uh, listeners some information on the present uh, uh, COVID-19 situation here in France. Mm-hmm. France, as well as other countries in Europe, is now facing the fifth wave of COVID, mainly from the Omicron variant, that started around the end of last year. At present, the number of infections in France continues to be high, with approximately 350,000 to 400,000 new cases daily, around 32,000 patients in hospital, over 3,700 in ICU, and about uh, 200 to 300 deaths per day. But despite the high infection figures due to the Omicron variant, the number of patients in the hospitals and especially i c unit, as well as death, is not that high proportionally. Mm-hmm. In comparison, the numbers are lower than during previous COVID waves in France, especially uh, the second and third waves in September to November uh, 2020 and March to April 2020. 21, respectively, when about 7,500 patients were admitted to ICU. Mm-hmm. This improved uh, situation can be explained as a result of the decreasing proportion of the infections by the more harmful Delta variant. Currently, Omicron, which is less, uh, less severe, now accounts for nearly all COVID-19 infections in France, while Delta now accounts for very, very little. According to the French uh, government. The decrease in hospitalization and death is particularly due to the high vaccination rate in France and good observance of sanitary measures by the general population. Mm-hmm. Now, with around 76% of the population fully vaccinated, around 50% having received the third of booster shots, the French government has made it clear that restrictive measures such as lockdown, a curfew, will not be reimposed. So that people's livelihood can continue with minimal disruption. The challenge for the French government now is to continue to convince the remaining around 7% of the adult population who are not yet vaccinated to get vaccinated as soon as possible mm-hmm. and speed up the vaccine campaign for children aged uh, 12 to 17 years old. Moreover, a, a vaccine pass system has been enforced since uh, 24th of January. This is a digital pass that. Allows only fully vaccinated people and those who have recovered from COVID-19 infection to enter certain public venues such as restaurants, museums, or cinemas. For the moment, if someone gets infected here in France, he or she must isolate at home for seven days. And if you are in close contact with an infected person, but you are fully vaccinated, uh, then you don't need to isolate yourself, but you must take COVID-19 test uh, mm. three times. With this improving uh, situation, the French government is progressively relaxing sanitary restrictions. From the 2nd of February onwards, there's no more obligation to wear masks in outdoor areas, the limit of participants in sports or cultural events, and no more obligation to work from home at least three days a week. Mm. And from the 16th of February onwards, discotheque will be allowed to reopen. Food and beverage can be consumed in public transport and at sports and cultural events. So, can we compare the COVID-19 situation in France and in Thailand? Since Thailand and France have approximately the same number of population, but France seems to have more cases of COVID-19. Uh, yes, the size and population of Thailand and France are similar. Mm. Thailand's population is around 69 million, while that of France is around 67 million. But the size of France is a bit bigger than Thailand. But despite the similarities in size and population. Thailand and France have many differences. 
and this make it difficult to compare uh, the mm-hmm. pandemic management by the two countries on surface. Mm-hmm. Many other important factors must also be taken into consideration, such as the number of elderly citizens, culture, climate, or even the fact that France is part of the border-free Schengen area, which comprises mm-hmm. 26 countries with a total population of over 400 million. Oh, by the way, France also counts both the PCR antigen tests, which on some days can be as high as over a million tests. This is because the French public health system covers the cost of both these tests, so mm-hmm. the French are encouraged to get tested often, while Thailand only counts the results on PCR tests. But looking at the COVID numbers until now, France has over 19 million COVID-19 cases and over 130,000 deaths why Thailand has recorded over 2.4 million cases and 22,000 uh, deaths, which is, like you said, much less. So let's, take a, let's now take a look closer at how France managed COVID. At the beginning of the pandemic in March 2020, mm-hmm. France was forced to opt for, many, for very restrictive lockdown measures. Mm-hmm. I believe that many of us can still remember the unimaginable images of many world-famous touristic sites and streets in Paris empty. The reason that France had to opt for restrictive measures is because they did not have enough surgical masks, mm-hmm. most of which had to be imported, and there was no effective treatment and no vaccine yet at that time. The only solution was therefore to procure more masks and quickly acquire vaccines to protect the population. Uh, as early as spring 2020, France convinced the other EU countries to procure vaccine altogether, even though the vaccine was still in the clinical test phase, so that the EU countries will be given priority once the vaccines have been developed. France also encouraged that a surgical masks be produced locally so that they would not be too dependent on important ones like in the early days of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Later on, vaccination among the population increased and the supply of surgical masks became sufficient, the sanitary measures were gradually relaxed. And from that moment onwards, France has been focusing its fight against COVID-19 on three pillars, namely testing, contact tracing, and vaccination. Hmm. But for the Omicron variant, the testing and especially the contact tracing do have limits due to the very high number of COVID cases per day. For example, on the 25th of January this year, cases increased to more than 500,000 within 24 hours. But this also means that a big number of the French population have already developed a natural immunity after getting infected with COVID-19. France has decided to start relaxing the remaining sanitary restrictions. However, some health experts caution that it is still too early to say that we are seeing the end of the pandemic and that it is becoming an endemic instead. Mm -hmm. This is why France attaches importance to giving equal access to the vaccine vaccine to the rest of the world. While in France, the focus now is on intensifying the vaccination campaign for the third dose and also for those who have not received any dose at all. Are the private sector in France negatively affected by the sanitary restrictions? What are the economic relief measures? Well, during the first wave of the pandemic in March 2020, the French economy was severely hit by the implementation of various restrictive measures, especially strict lockdown, Mm -hmm. in order to prevent the rapid spread of COVID-19. Non-essential shops such as restaurants, bars, clothes or music stores were shut down. People can leave home only for necessary reasons, such as to buy groceries or medicines at the pharmacy. Mm-hmm. The whole country was, in fact, put on pause. Mm-hmm. The GDP in 2020 dropped to a historical low of minus eight. Mm-hmm. But the French government decided since the beginning of the pandemic to fully support and protect its private sector, to prevent businesses from closing down, and to be in a position to resume its commercial activity at the earliest opportunity. Mm-hmm. Therefore, several measures were put in place, such as the chômage partiel or partial unemployment, which means that the government absorbs the cost of around 84% of the salary of other employees of a company, which is forced to cease operation during the lockdown. Mm-hmm. And the government also helps in postponing or exempting uh, some expenses of the company, such as lease, uh, electricity, water, gas bills, and in some cases, social contribution and taxes. Mm-hmm. 
government support also extends to the possibility to get a loan guaranteed by the state and a solidarity fund that grants financial help directly to companies in need. These support measures come from financial resources from both the French government's own budget and from the EU. In September 2021, the French government announced its huge economic recovery plan mm. of 100 billion euros with EU funding of around uh, 40 billion euros. As a result of these huge spending, the French public debt grew to as much as 116.3% uh, of GDP in 2021. But these measures seem to pay off as the unemployment rate is held at a, the pre-COVID level of around 8%. The GDP in 2021 also grew more than 7%, which is a record high mm. in 52 years. Is the Thai community in France much affected by the pandemic? What is the role of the Royal Thai Embassy in Paris in this regard? Luckily, most Thais living in France are covered by the French public health system, so they are treated equally like all French citizens in terms of getting access to hospitals, COVID-19 tests and vaccination. Since mid-February 2020, the Royal Thai Embassy has been informing and updating the Thai community of important statistics and measures adopted by the French government as well as useful information regarding COVID-19 on a daily basis on our social media to make sure that the Thai community is well informed of the current situation and able to keep track of our measures announced by the French government in order to better prepare themselves and effectively plan the future. Furthermore, at the beginning of the pandemic, it was very difficult to find masks in France, like in many other countries. Therefore, the Royal Thai Embassy managed to get a distributed mask that was received from sponsors to the Thai community in France. Then from May to October 2020, the Embassy organized a total of seven repatriation flights to mm -hmm. Thailand, facilitating Thais and their families to travel back to Thailand. Currently, we are now in close contact with the French authorities to coordinate the donation of approximately 400,000 doses of Pfizer vaccines by the French government to Thailand. We truly appreciate this kind of generosity of the French government, especially during the context of the fifth wave in France. And would you like to add more before we leave the discussion? Well, uh, thank you very much, Kun and for this opportunity to share information on France's response to COVID and particularly the listeners for their kind attention. I hope you find the information today useful uh, as we compare how our two countries uh, manage COVID. Thank you very much and Swadika. That was His Excellency Mr. Sauran Daren Suwan, the ambassador of Thailand to France, discussing on French management of COVID-19 lessons for Thailand. Don't forget to follow the YouTube channel MFA Thailand and Facebook page FM88 Radio Thailand English for more updates. Time to say goodbye. I am Kimmy or Kim Panik Nita so see you again until next time. สวัสดีค่ะ. MFA Updates